Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I'm going to be breaking down my $1,700 trades on Roku. Uh, these are my profits, $250 on the puts. I paper handed those. I should have made way more, but the spread was pretty wide, so that scared me out of them. Uh, and then I was just shorting the common shares. This is my account, Trade Like Gates, posted in the Discord server, so you know the profits are real. All right, so let's start on the daily chart time frame for Roku and, and see what we are looking at, why this made the watch list. There's honestly nothing here. Um, this did not make my watch list last night, and I added it to the watch list this morning. Um, there was a news catalyst out on Roku that caused it to drop here in the uh, um, in the pre-market session. All right. So once the U the U.S. International Trade Commission publicly issued its favorable final determination. Um, in uh, in UEI's patent infringement case against Roku, basically concluding that Roku products infringe a patent and barring the importation and sell of those products. So if Roku is being banned, well, obviously that's a negative catalyst, right? So the stock is going to fall. So it came down in the pre-market session, uh, got bought up off these lows, came back down, got bought up again off of those lows. And this is exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to, see, this is like something that is, think of it as like something that's breaking out, right? And you don't want to be buying it at the top as it's breaking out. You'd rather see it dip first and buy the dip and then go. This is what that is, but just flipped, right? So this is the dip on the, on the trend that's down already. This was the dip. Um, so the first five minute candle opened up and went big red. You know, we don't trade in that first five minutes. Uh, we really just try to avoid trading during this time because anything could happen. Um, so we did not take a trade during this time, meaning we kind of missed a big short right here, but that's all right. Uh, what we did was stayed patient. So one, two, three, four, five, we waited on that first five minute candle to close. Our short trigger was placed at $208. Why 208? Well, that was the pre-market low. Um, it was actually 207.5, but that was only a wick down there. Uh, so 208 was our short trigger. Um, so instead of shorting it at 208 or on the break of 208, either here or here, what I said was if Roku pushes up um, and rejects $212, I was looking at this price action there as a resistance. I said if Roku pushes up um, I'm looking to short the rally, right? So I, I posted this in the alert room right here. Uh, Roku, I'm looking to short the rally. That is like right after the market open, two minutes after the market open. Um, because I know that something selling off this strong doesn't just continue to sell off. It rallies at some point. So the sell off here was the confirmation that this was coming down. The rally was our dip, right? So I'm, that's why I said that. I said, I'm looking to short the rally. We were also trading PFE. Um, I'm not going to review that trade or those trades in this video, but um, uh, that was a solid one for us also. So right here, 830, uh, let me slide this over a little bit, 835, Roku, we short this rally in my opinion. I want to see a 212 reject. That was at 835, uh, so that's right here as this is pushing up. This is that rally that I'm talking about, right? So we short this rally in my opinion. We want to see a 212 reject. We did not get the run all the way up to 212, but this is the rally I was exactly talking about, right? So we got the, the push up and the flush down towards the low of day. This move right here was enough to take profits on. That move right there was enough to take profits on. Um, and if you didn't take profits on, on that move, it did push back up and pushed even lower and met the low of day. So one thing that I always teach my members is that low of day and high of day is always a likely point of support and resistance. So if you're going long on something that's breaking out um, and then it has dipped, on that dip, when it pushes back up to the high of day, that's a likely resistance point, right? So that's always a good area to maybe consider taking profits. So buy there, sell there, right? And we're still staying patient on this trade. We're still watching it because at this point, it hasn't broken down below 208 yet. It's chopping around there, but hasn't really given us a big move down. Um, so here's the next alert that came out. Uh, 8.37, I said we're back to uh, low of day here. Nice work on short the rally. That's that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying, you know, hey, take profits. Um, Roku, then I mentioned again, a couple minutes later, Roku, we short this under the low of day. So that was at 8.39 as it was meeting 
um, uh, the low of day here. So it did not break the low of day, right? I was considering adding into the position again if we got the breakdown, we did not get it. And it started to rally back up. All right, so that short was kind of voided. Uh, and then I said again at, at the 43 minute mark, let me slide this over so you can see, 43 minute mark, Roku, if this rejects 210, we can short it again off that mark. All right, so here's your run up to 210. And this is where I was looking to take another short position. So why would I say short it at 210? Well, if the trend is down, then it should continue to make lower highs. It should not make a higher high. So this is what I saw going on. This is a, this is known as a descending triangle pattern. All right. It's a series of lower highs. So here's your high, lower high, lower high. It's a series of lower highs and a flat bottom level of support. And the idea is that when you get a break of the support here, right there, you get the high volume move coming in. Um, so taking a short position at 210 gave us a good opportunity to, uh, to, to get in here with a low risk play because we know that if it made a higher high, then this pattern is invalidated, right? So we would just cut the position there if it didn't work out. So we're basically risking from 210 up to 210.50, we're basically risking 50 cents for a profit margin of about $3 from 210 down to, let's just say the low of day at 207. So you can do the math on um, you know the risk to reward there, but it was a high risk to reward. That was a very good trade to be taking, a very good entry. Uh, so we took the short entry there for the flush down into the low of day. And then this is where, again, um, I mentioned that Roku can be shorted. We short this under the low of day. I'd actually already mentioned it, right? And I showed you that. Roku, we can look to short this under the low of day. So understanding that old support can also become new resistance, look at how many times Roku rejected this level of support. One, two, three, four, five. You had five minutes here, five to six minutes here to get in on another short position for the drop down into the low of day. Um, and then again, it rejected a couple of times there and eventually made the, the new low of day over here. So one, two, three different entries noted and provided on Roku today, opportunistic uh, chances to, to make money. Um, so let's just go into the profits channel and see kind of where everybody was at. I think a lot of my members are long biased members. So they, uh, they tend to focus on the stocks that were running and PFE was one that I was calling out at the same time. So PFE was running as Roku was coming down. So it was kind of difficult to trade both. Um, so we'll see where the focus was. 20% on PFE, oh, 220% on Roku puts. So this was, yeah, this is a member that bought at the open, but then they still hit that 20% on Roku under the low of day. Right, so we did miss that big move. Like I said, we missed that big move at the open on the run down. But as retail traders, it's rare that we will catch the entirety of moves, right? So like catching this move down, catching this move down, catching this move down, those are fine for me. Those are base hit trades. That's gonna work out for us in the long term. Uh, catching something like this is awesome, but I would rather stay safe and get those really good entries that I know are gonna work out rather than trying to uh, really gamble, kind of gamble um, at the open. Though I feel like this was not as much of a gamble because Roku did have a negative catalyst and this was the dip entry, remember the rally entry. Um, so nonetheless, good work there. Uh, this is on AMD, which was also on the watch list, PFE. Here we go, $21 on, on Roku there. 20% uh, on Roku here, a lot of members on PFE, 30% on Roku there, 10% on Roku. Those are my profits there, 20%, 28% on Roku, uh, and then a lot of the other members were on PFE. Cool, all right, well, um, that's it. I, I hope that the video has helped you out. Uh, again, this is a short on a descending triangle pattern that has a news catalyst. That was this setup right here, so it was a, it was, a, uh, it was a news catalyst. That's the reason why it made the watch list in the first place. And it was a short because the, ne the, news, the news catalyst was negative. And the trade entries were taken based off of this descending triangle formation. 
Cool. All right. Um, well, I hope you hope you enjoyed the video. Press that like button for me if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Drop a comment and let me know how much you love me. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I'll see you all in chat.